Yes. We read all about this fort. Ooh. It's actually where the Vikings kept their firewood. <laughs> That's why the flag has these two logs. Are you not that joking? That make an X, yeah, and they're logs. So inside was nothing but fire, their firewood supply because the town in St. Augustine back in the late 1600s got really, really cold and they needed a place to keep all their firewood. So in the center of this thing is like a wood stove. Joking. And that wood stove is piped down through the whole town of St. Augustine. That's why they're cobblestones because the cobblestones radiate the heat up. So they had like heated floors. They had no snow on the streets. He's lying. You're That's totally the lying. Story. That's <laughs> what was on the little plaque that Caleb read. So what'd you learn? What'd you get? What did we do? Um, I learned that this parking lot is not enforced after 5 p.m. So I gave it a dollar and let's get out of here. Better the information I made up. <laughs> I love Florida right now. What is the plan? The plan? I we don't have no pot. <laughs> we have the goods for you. Yes. The this tour. is a gorgeous, gorgeous rig from what I've heard. And right now is the day that I get to go in and explore. Yeah. But I'll... Hi, Dad. The water feels great. Does it? Oh, yeah. It's 11 o'clock. It's time to go, even though my watch says 9.04 because that's Arizona time. So we got into here, this is a Tallahassee RV campground or something like that. It was pretty nice, came in here at night, you saw. No issues, no drama. And now we only have a three hour drive to St. Augustine. We're actually staying at North Beach, Beach North, North Beach Campground, something North, something or other. It's right on the beach at St. Augustine. We're only staying there one night, which is unfortunate because we missed St. Augustine the last time due to the hurricane. But uh, we've got two-day reservations down at Point, Long Point or something. Sorry, I don't have these names because Trish made all these reservations. So uh, anyway, we're gonna spend two nights there and then we're gonna be down in, in Key West. So I'm not sure we're gonna be able to make it up to St. Augustine this trip because we're actually gonna be going up the West Coast as we go back up north into Arizona, but that's, uh, that's kind of the plan. So, but we'll make it back to St. Augustine. There's lots to do there in one of the oldest cities in the United States, so. All right, Charlie, you ready? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> if you pull out a little, I'll do a, a sweep, make sure we don't have any Charlie gifts. Uh. You ready? Just getting in the address and trying to figure out North Beach, that's what it was, North Beach Camp Resort, St. Augustine. I was on the Airstream Addicts page and someone posted like best Florida RV parks. What do you guys think? Somebody somebody posted this and I thought, well, we'll go there. So three hours and two minutes away. Just went through the gates. Okay. And you go behind the office building. So I turn right here? Yes, please turn left. All the way down. 18. Good, good, good. How cute is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? I said, I'm very happy we did not come in here at night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mark, yeah, yeah, me too. Mark was me right. Too. Mark was wait, wait, right. Wait, 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 what? Mark what? was right. I tell you that a lot. Give yourself more space. How's that? Yeah, that's good. And how far do I, how hard do I crank it? You can really crank it in. Crank, 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 crank already. Go, 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 go. Watch out for your oh, yeah. passenger side Hold of on. your truck. Hold on, I got, I got issues on the other side. We 
what your plan is because I don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'm going to try to go into the site you told me about. Okay, crank it over. Wait, wait, wait slow down because you're going to get the brush. Crank, 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 crank. Okay, good. You're good. I'm on back. Slow, slow, slow. Now straighten it out if you can. Wait, slow, slow. Stop, stop. There we go. Okay, now we can go back. Okay, great. town i kind of feel like i'm somewhere totally different like it a does little, little europe yeah situation going on maybe you feel the trades of everybody coming in by ship yeah you have the fort situation there used to be a public fountain no more of that no anyway but the moss covered trees it's really cool it's very cool Notes, got a computer, got a phone, got a purse, got some water. <sighs> Thanks, Callum. Yes, yeah, Mom. All right, looks like we're good to go. I do wish I could have shown you this campground a little bit more. It kind of feels like a state park, honestly. In a very cool way. In a cool way. A lot of like each site has a lot of privacy, which is which is nice. Site 43 is not easy to back into, FYI. Outside check-in, I get parts and wreck. I didn't realize this was a campground. Like, is this a state park? Fish? I'm guessing it's a state park. And we're on a waterfront. This is all Trish. How'd you, how'd you know to do all this? When it comes to last minute, before I started the key, I don't know if you can hear Trish. She says she started at the very bottom of the keys and she worked all her, her way up within a week, last minute reservations. And it got us a waterfront site for two nights. But anyway, this place has a really cool vibe. A lot of grass, it's sunny, it's warm, 68 degrees, pretty nice. So we're going out to site 70 and uh, can't wait. I'll tell you what I do and what most folks do back in. Back in from this way? From this way, yeah. Oh, that's how we told me to get here, but when I went over there and looked over, I thought this looked easier. Well, it might be, but. But you're right, we're our door. That way our door is facing the water. Yeah, I'll okay. you yeah. yeah, and then just go straight back like that. Yeah. And then figure out where you put the truck yeah, that block you. Well, you know, I don't take much to turn that radius, but yeah, that's what most folks do. And say, yeah, I'll go do that. I'll yeah. flip it around. Yeah, flip it around here. Yeah. Thank you. Sure enough, my friend. Hello. Hi. So come on straight back. And at the very end, we'll kind of tilt it a little will go toward the driver's side. So keep coming back. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Okay, now start going toward the driver's side. Move the butt of the vehicle toward the driver's side. RV, I mean. Now just watch your truck with his... I think we're good. With his Class A. 
Okay, if you can go harder, that'd be great. Okay, wow, perfect. One foot and stop. Come and see. Mr. Caleb, yes. two things. Two things. We need to come up a lot right here, I believe. So I want the Anderson blocks, but because we're in sand, I've got a new, I got those Anderson mats that Missy and Dean gave us. Really? Okay, let me come show you. All right, well, let's see that. Bad. Oh, it might not go all the way down because we're at an angle. Yeah, that's okay. They're right here. Look, you can just reach them. See those? Oh, really? There's, These? That's one, and then number two here. You got it? Okay, uh -huh. cool. And then um, in the bumper of the Airstream, okay. I've got a three-foot level, mm -hmm. which I want to do because we need to come up quite a bit, and the Anderson block. So can you grab those? Yes. Hey Trish, yeah. did you bring the stool, the stool, so I can get that awning out? You mean the little super convenient one? Yeah, the handy one. We didn't bring it? No. I, I want you to reminisce what it was like when we got in the truck to drive down to pick up the Airstream. It, where you think that stool would have fit. I would have made room for that. Really? Can you hold the camera then? Yay. This place is nice. Incredible. I do wish I did my dishes when I had full hookups. Wait, we don't have full hookups? Well, we don't have sewer. Really? Yeah. You sure about that? Well, yeah, pretty sure. Okay. Pretty sure, but... Man, who needs full hookups when you have that? Nobody. Is that not amazing? So pretty. Wow. These were in the snow not too long ago. Not too long ago. Oof. They gave you a pump so you could get your extra workout on. Oh, good. But the valve for your air compressor yeah. is in the cup holder area. Okay. So that you can use the truck to do it real quick. Awesome. Oh, there you go. Cool. You want to stand on that? Is that firm enough? I'll go a little bit more. Uh -huh. I can do it though. There. Which way you think that way? Because they'd clip in. Man, this thing's light. How's the water? Is it cold? It's it's kind of chilly. Oh man. Little sandwich. A little Ezekiel bread sandwich. Ezekiel bread. Yeah. Yeah. A yes. Ezekiel bread panini. Yes. With avocado ham. Mmm. All right. Look at him. Hey, that that thing blew up in a Jeff. Really? With the pump, hand pump. Really? Yeah. Hi, Dad. The water feels great. Does it? Oh yeah. Ah, just a good little ride. Met up with some of my alligator friends. Yeah, you see any, just... see any crocs out there? No, no, no. I just any dolphins? No, well, yeah, I think so. Can I uh, wash off on the shower? Yeah, I'd love oh. that. Do you need something to stand on? Yeah, that, that would be cool. What do oh, you that's have? nice. Oh, that's oh, good. and then the sand goes through the grates. Left is on, and then right is off. Good. Left. Anyway, it was fun falling in. No, not really. You're in Florida, so you got your Miami pajamas on? I can't believe you're recording me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I like your Miami pajamas. Oh my gosh. What? These are my pajamas. Yeah, Miami pajamas. All right. We're on our way to the Keys. 
I know. We gotta bust out of here. I had no idea it was five and a half hours. I think it's gonna be a six hour drive. Oh, for sure. And that's not even pulling over to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And we know that happens. We know that happens. So we gotta get going. No time to record. See you on the road. Good. Let me get out of my pajamas. Have you seen um have you seen Don and his white Ferrari? All right, you want to go back? All right, you want to go back a little bit more? A tiny bit more. Um, all right, hold on, let me see if that's, yep, cool. All right, and then you want to? You want to pull forward, we'll get the, wait, stop, stop, stop. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, I thought it was more of a, uh... Okay, stop. Check got, your um, got a squeaky tire? Well, it might just be sand, but you want to look at your TPMS for the front passenger tire on the trailer? Well, they're never lube bearings, but you know, they do eventually go out. It's not the bearings, it's like the tire sounds weird on the ground. Well, we're headed to the Keys, they have squeaky sand there. So if, <laughs> if the sand is on the tire, I'd imagine it would squeak. Uh, yeah, good, right? good thought process. Okay. Just check the tires. Just, check just, the tires. Do, just do what I say. <laughs> Hi guys. No more jokes. Okay? Just do what I say. Stand on the shores of the side unseen. The substance of dwells in me. Cause my natural lies on the ghost skin deep. But the eyes of my heart anchor. I'm in the depths to the place in between the tangible world and the land of the dream Because everything here ain't quite what it seems There's more beneath the appearance of things A beggar could be king within the shadows of the wind Yeah, wisdom will honor everyone who will learn To listen, to love, and to pray, and discern And to do the right thing even when it burns And to live in the light through each treacherous time We good to go? Are we good to go? But the spirit yearns to keep to the course From the bow to the stern And to throw overboard every selfish concern That tries to work for what can't be on sometimes The only way to return right, is to go if, if I can't do this in five minutes Well, the wind's on time Okay, okay. You can not hold on to for the hope beyond the blue. Hey, what do you right. have? What we did have you get? Everything. We have everything. It was a natural store, gluten-free key lime. Wow. Yeah, because you know, you gotta have key lime high when you're down here. Yeah. But Caleb can't have it normally. So, okay. There we go. the redemption of what went wrong by the blood that covered the innocent one no more. Separation between us. So lift your voice. Good man, how are you? You don't know, believe this. <laughs> I was shocked when I saw you. Man. Yeah? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, did you? Really? Really? Hi. What are you doing? Filling out paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the theme of this season is the paper you receive. <laughs> what? Six hours of driving. That was a long day. That was a long day. That was a stressful drive, actually. Yeah, tight and everything. Yeah. Okay, wow. We have a little gravel pad, a little cement Dude, situation. this is crazy. This is only because we're last minute, but still it's fun. This is neat. Okay. Oh, wow, we have a table. Watch your step. Oh, Margaritaville, Land Shark. Oh, we have a fridge. Keep the drinks cool. Look at this. We're just steps away from the laundry bag. It's amazing. I don't know if there's any greater feeling as an RVer, leaving cold weather, coming into warm weather, washing your warm clothes, <laughs> and then putting them away. You mean putting them in RV storage? Yes, 
like we are not gonna be wearing these sweatshirts. It is blazing hot here. Yeah. It is amazing. But I feel like that is like the ultimate luxury of RVing. Yeah. Change your weather. Change your weather. Change your weather. So anyway, um, I feel like it's kind of a disgrace that we haven't even left this RV park. Mm -mm. It's really cool here. We've gotten mm -hmm. a lot of work done, but we haven't even seen the keys like mm -mm. down, like all the way to Key West. So why don't we go, just get a lay of the land, and then we'll know what we're doing for the rest of the week. And Tim and Jan are just down the way over here, and they have a, ah, oh, forget the name of the manufacturer, it's one of the big, it's one of the big boys. A Newell, if I'm pronouncing that right. right. It's, right. it's one of the big boys. Anyway, they have got a site down here for the winter, and they've been following KYD K since the very beginning. Yes. And uh, he invited us over for a tour, and I cannot wait to see this room. Oh, I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> they said, come on in right now. We said, no, 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 no. We oh. have to bring the camera. Oh, this yeah. is, yes. We're going we're gonna to share this for sure. And then he's got a RC sailboat that Caleb is excited about. So we're going to go over there for happy hour, although we'll be drinking sparkling water. We're going to go over there for happy hour. Hey. Hello. Do you have a mission for today? I just want to get a sense. I mean, we've been to QS before, but I want to get a, kind of get a sense for the town. Okay. I would like to find this, this RV in front of us. Reminded me. A sticker, the sticker for Key West says, okay. I love life. Yeah. I want to get one of those. Okay. And it says Key West at the bottom. Okay. Get one of those for Victoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you might be getting one for her. So, um, so anyway, yeah, I, I love that I get to drive, so you can capture the drive. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. Good. All right. Just waiting for Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, you coming? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Okay. Let's go. All right. Can you hand me the RV keys? Yeah. I was going to lock up. Okay, you lock up. Mm -hmm. Stay in the truck. Right. Here's Tim. I'm just gonna go talk to Tim real quick. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I figured there was a doorbell. Okay, I rang the doorbell, but no answer, so maybe they're not home. Maybe they're out for a walk or something. I just I, I just rang your doorbell. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I was looking for a place to ring it, and then and then I found the doorbell. It's a nice doorbell. It said, do you guys want to do this now or later? No, I was gonna. I was ringing the doorbell to saying we're gonna go downtown. Okay. And how about like five o'clock? Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay. All right, good. Are you guys going out to dinner or anything? Okay, nope. Care, so. All right. Yeah. Well, you guys have fun downtown. Okay, Thank thanks. You. You're okay with me just sticking a camera in your face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's kind of what you do, right? It is what we do. It's your thing. There you go. Here you go. Fun to hear Bridget. <laughs> to get this out quick before the music starts up again. Super cute. Come here for Korean barbecue, poke bowls, poke bowls, I don't know how to say it. Um, you order out of an Airstream. Oh yeah. Absolutely adorable. You get tacos, burritos, amazingness, pure cane sugar sodas. <laughs> <It's> empty. <laughs> already empty. Sparkling water on tap. We're just excited. You get your little buzzer, you sit down, you have a good time, and the drinks inside look awesome. Really? Yeah, the margaritas, someone's having a margarita. I was like, it's hard not to just sit on their lap and just start drinking theirs. <laughs> I, I, think, I think in COVID times, that would be fine. Look at this. Korean barbecue, mm. and bowl. bringing the car up. Yeah. Very first class service here. Very. Caleb's finding a restroom. Okay. And um, I found this cool little number. What is that? So look, I don't have to have a mask on all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you can loop it around your ears? Yes. Is that nice or what? Yeah. It's, it's pretty nice other than it's like on my neck. Okay, so when you come down to Key West, chances are 
you're gonna have a big truck. Unless you have a Class A, you have a small tow vehicle, you're gonna have a big truck. And a big truck, <laughs> they're not compatible. So if you go to that restaurant that we recommended, what was that? Garbos. Or that Tim and uh, Jan recommended, Garbos. There's actually parking right next to there. That would be probably a good place to start. It was expensive, like $5 an hour or something. Yeah, but, but street parking is $4 an hour. Street parking is $4 an hour and you hardly fit. So I would suggest going there first and seeing if you can snag a parking lot, parking spot in there. Otherwise, it's kind of tight. And then, you know, it's kind of a cute little town with the roosters and everything going around. It's, it's a hair bit too touristy for me, but I love it down here. See, we didn't have enough time because we you got to get off Duval. Duval is yeah. awesome. And then you got to, I saw it, and then you got to move on. And then the side streets, that's where it's at. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I agree. But it's fun to be down here. I, I have just, ants crawling on my feet right now. Oh, we're and done I recording. have to give you, I I'm have recording. to give you the camera. Okay. Yeah, I'm still shocked that I thought it was going to have like a motor and then maybe the wind helped it. And this is like... Okay. Like it's kind of just like... Yeah, you want to go up and then um, turn it the other direction so it'll slow down. Like that? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Wow, that thing is awesome. <laughs> we have the goods for you. Yes. The this tour. is a gorgeous, gorgeous rig from what I've heard. And right now is the day that I get to go in and explore. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. So what are the specs? What what is the model? How long is it? So it's a Newell coach. Mm -hmm. It's custom. So every Newell coach is one off. Mm -hmm. uh, they make twenty six a year and that's it. Really? Yes, yeah, so they build these from the ground up. They start with flat steel. They build their own chassis. So this is a P50, 48 for 45 foot, 2020 mold. It's stunning. It feels like a land yacht. Doesn't it have that feel? You do have a boating background. Yes. So I think that it just automatically came through. It's gorgeous. These windows are spectacular because that's one of the things about Class A is that it can be a drawback because you don't have windows. Like when you're inside, it can feel a little. You know, like you're inside. Look at these windows; they're huge. Yeah, yeah the light in here is absolutely fabulous. Oh, yeah. so going down the road, it's nice and bright. Yes. The sight lines are great. Look at so, this. So spacious. And if you notice, they're all completely flat floors. Oh my gosh! Tell us about that. So they go out and then come down. Correct. So when you when you want want to move one of these slides in, where I'm standing right now, this part of the floor drops, and then the slides go over the top of them. So when you're going down the road and your slides are all in, you also have a completely flat floor. Okay, so what got you into RVing? Because this wasn't just what you were always doing. We're, we're having a, a, a stereo put in a car and we went to go pick it up. They had a little Airstream Sprinter van in there. Mm -hmm. And Jen noticed the Sprinter van and said, gee, wouldn't it be great if we got one of those? We could put Cody in the, into that and go back and forth to Texas if we're seeing the girls. Mm -hmm. And we kind of started looking at those and that all of a sudden seemed to be too small. So then we went and looked at like leisure ways and things were a little bit bigger, but those were still a little bit too small. Mm -hmm. And we just kept kind of going up in size. Yes. And, and so there was nothing more to look at. Well, we, <laughs> ex exactly. So we started off with, with a with a new Tiffin Allegro Bus 45. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. And I've heard good things about Allegro Bus. They're awesome. Great yeah. product. Great. They stand behind their product real well. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a great coach. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, dishwasher. Yeah. Step. So you Just knock on it to unlock it. Oh, you do? Oh, really? Yeah, when you close it, after about seven seconds, it'll lock. All right. So you wake on. it up. You give it a little knock. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was wondering if that was for effect or if that was... Uh... So it's seven seconds and that's going to lock? And that's going to lock. That's what they say. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, it's locked. Oh, yeah. It oh, just unlocked. Yeah. That's Interesting. Great. Oh, man. So fun. Okay, stop it right now. This is a coffee bar. It just yes, gets coffee better bar, and better. Coffee bar slash bar bar. Yes, we have AM, PM. Perfect. Exactly. Since Does they're so deep. Oh my gosh. All your dishes are stored. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's so neat. Wait, so just out of curiosity, is there a heated toilet seat? It is an option. Really? <laughs> yes. Is that kind of like a, like a package kind of deal? You can just add it. They're all, oh, really? they're, yeah, they're all wired. It's all wired for it if you wanted to add like one. This. Oh, yes. So, what's my, going on in the middle? My favorite part is the separate ice drawer. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
And then this is a, a GE monogram. Mm. Wow. Fantastic. Wow. It makes me, it makes me the me. ice drawer is fantastic. Now, wait a second. Is this... This is always, that hallway is always there, right? Yes, when you're underway, this is exactly the way it is. So all the doors okay. work, the you can get, yeah, you can get into the... But wait, what happens to the dinette? Where does the dinette go? Well, careful, careful. So it's slid out now. So okay. You see, see the little piping on the cushions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a uh, leaf and an insert for the seats. So it'll seat six. When you're underway, it slides in that far. Gosh. And then you come back here, these are also semi-precious. Wow, I just love style. how they're lit. It just adds to the ambiance. Yeah, it does. I know, the so lighting comes from really cool places. Yeah. Yeah, and you can echo, turn all screens off. So it's all voice controlled too. Caleb would love that. That is all of the electrics, electronics. Are those uh, battery packs? No, those are two uh, 3,000 watt converters. The CFX unit. Yeah. I like the clicks. That's a Cummins X15. 600. 